SpaceX is preparing to debut its fifth and final Crew Dragon spacecraft on the Axiom Mission 4, a private astronaut trip to the International Space Station managed by Axiom Space. While it's the fourth such mission for Axiom, this flight also marks the final chapter for an important part of SpaceX's spacecraft manufacturing. Axiom 4 will fly aboard the newly built Crew Dragon capsule with tail number C213, billed by SpaceX as its fifth and final addition to the Dragon lineup. But this launch hasn't gone smoothly. Axiom Mission 4 has already been delayed, again this week. Originally targeting Tuesday, June 10th, poor weather pushed it to the following day, June 11th. Then came a more serious issue, a liquid oxygen leak on the Falcon 9's B1094 booster, discovered during a routine static fire test on Sunday. What's worse, this isn't the first time this specific issue has come up. The same booster experienced a liquid oxygen leak after landing during the Starlink 1210 mission in late April. William Gersten Meyer, SpaceX's VP of Build and Flight Reliability, admitted in a press briefing that the team either failed to properly fix the issue during refurbishment or missed it entirely. At Monday's teleconference, Gersten Meyer explained, We've gone out to the launch pad. We're continuing to troubleshoot that. We should get that completed today and we will have that back in configuration. He added, We're installing a purge that will essentially mitigate the leak, if it still continues if we see it on launch day, so we will be fully ready to go fly. Gerstenmeyer also noted a separate issue with the booster's Merlin engine, specifically a problem with thrust vector control on engine 5, which required component replacements. But on Tuesday night, just before 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 0 hundred hours UTC, SpaceX announced that the launch would be scrubbed entirely to give teams more time to fix the liquid oxygen leak found during post-static fire checks. Once complete and pending range availability, we will share a new launch date, they wrote. NASA's Dana Weigel, who oversees the ISS program, shared more insight into the mission's backup options. There's good news. Launch opportunities remain open through the end of June. That means a daily or rolling window strategy is in place. A smart move, especially when weather or technical issues pop up. If all June windows are missed, there's still a backup, a second opportunity in early to mid-July, around July 7th to 13th. But time is limited. After June 30th, a Russian Progress cargo vehicle is set to undock, opening a new port for future docking. The timing must be precise since Progress missions typically last about six months, and its departure clears the way for Axiom 4. However, this flexibility disappears around mid-July when the ISS enters a high solar beta period. During this time, the angle between the Sun and the ISS's orbit becomes too steep, over 60 degrees. That affects solar power generation and onboard temperature regulation, making station operations more complex. NASA typically halts launches during this period, a routine called a beta cutout which can last two to three weeks. This scheduling challenge has existed since the days of the space shuttle. Still, SpaceX might expect to push hard for an earlier launch, probably this month. Astronauts don't enjoy extended quarantines, and everyone's eager to get this mission off the ground. Additionally, SpaceX is likely eager to see how the new crew Dragon C-213 performs in a real mission. This capsule features propulsion system upgrades specifically designed to make refurbishment easier and reduce corrosion caused by exposure to salty ocean water. According to William Gerstenmeyer, this latest Dragon represents a meaningful evolution from previous models, with enhancements like improved storage compartments and more reliable, reusable propulsion systems. This isn't just the same Dragon capsule we've been flying. We've actually made some improvements and actually made it better to continue to keep flying safely," Gerstenmeyer explained. All of these updates are part of a larger push to extend Dragon's reuse beyond the currently approved five missions per capsule. It's a strategy meant to cut costs and make spaceflight more sustainable by flying the same spacecraft multiple times. Operational data from SpaceX shows that each reuse cycle can reduce mission costs by about 30 percent. 
The challenge now is determining exactly when a dragon can be cleared for more than five flights. There's no timeline or specific process locked in yet. It's still a developing plan. Think of it like beating a level in a video game, but having to wait for the next patch to unlock new content. Except, in this case, it's an actual spacecraft. Right now, Crew Dragon Endeavor has already flown five times, and several others have it four times. That puts mounting pressure on SpaceX to find a solution soon. Meanwhile, work on Axiom 4 continues. Gerstenmeyer also mentioned that recovery teams are hard at work preparing for C-213's splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. This is no small task, since SpaceX typically recovers capsules in the Gulf of Mexico near Florida. Landing in the Pacific is rare. They've only done it once before, during the FRAM-2 mission. Anyway, if you love this deep dive, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. We're aiming for 150,000 subscribers, and we need you to get there. It can be said that for SpaceX, Axiom 4, like every Dragon mission, centers on one core priority, crew safety. They're willing to delay an important flight even at the risk of breaching contractual timelines to ensure the mission goes forward only when it's absolutely safe. This approach stands in stark contrast to NASA and Boeing's decision during last year's Star Liner crewed mission, where the launch proceeded despite an active helium leak. This safety-first mindset is deeply embedded in NASA's commercial crew program, which SpaceX has been part of since Crew Dragon certification in 2020. The commercial crew program requires all commercial providers to maintain a failure probability of less than 1 in 270 for crewed flights, a standard SpaceX has consistently met or exceeded. One key tool in SpaceX's safety arsenal is the static fire test, like the one conducted on Sunday, June 8, 2025, for Axiom 4's Falcon 9. During this test, the rocket's engines are fired while it's secured to the pad simulating real launch conditions. This allows engineers to detect and correct problems in advance. In Axiom 4's case, the test revealed a liquid oxygen leak and a thrust vector control issue with Merlin Engine 5. SpaceX responded by installing a purge system to mitigate the leak and replacing faulty components, ensuring the rocket was once again flight ready. The importance of static fire tests is underscored by history. In April 2019, a Crew Dragon capsule exploded during such a test, prompting a redesign of the Super Draco abort thrusters to enhance future crew safety. In Axiom 4's case, the test worked exactly how they thought to find issues, as confirmed in a mission thread. This is all part of SpaceX's iterative testing philosophy which emphasizes real-time data collection. The Axiom 4 static fire delivered telemetry on engine performance, fuel systems, and structural health, dramatically reducing launch risks. In fact, NASA's 2023 post-flight review of Crew-7 found a 15% improvement in anomaly detection, thanks in part to these kinds of pre-launch procedures. Another clear example of SpaceX's commitment to safety is how they handled Dragon C-213. Initially slated to support the Crew-9 mission in 2024, C-213 wasn't ready by the original target date. Rather than rush it, SpaceX calmly rescheduled its debut to early 2025 for Crew-10. NASA's subsequent decision to bring home the Starliner crew flight test astronauts aboard a SpaceX Dragon further emphasized the urgency and importance of C-213's readiness. The spacecraft was now tasked with flying Crew-10 to the ISS before Crew-9, which included astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, could return to Earth aboard Dragon Freedom. However, with President Donald Trump's urgent call for a faster return of the former Starliner crew, Dragon C-213 would not be ready for launch in February, one of the original windows to launch the Crew-10 mission. NASA and SpaceX decided to switch to using Dragon Endurance, tail number C-2010, which was being readied to fly the Axiom-4 mission. 
During a Crew-10 pre-launch briefing, Gersten Meyer, Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability at SpaceX, said that there was a battery issue with Dragon C213, which took extensive work to address. We ended up pulling the battery out. We understand now exactly the failure of the slice that occurred on that battery, Gersten Meyer said in early March. It turns out the batteries are not easy to get out. It took a lot of capsule disassembly to get the battery out. In going through the final preparations for the AX-4 mission, Sarah Walker, director of Dragon Mission Management, said during a mission overview briefing that some of the pre-launch checks raised a couple of issues that delayed the mission from May 29th to June 8th. One was a wire harness we needed to swap out. It didn't pass its standard pre-flight. It's called a HIPOT test. It stands for high potential, and it's a safety test that verifies the insulation strength of a device," Walker explained. And so, when a harness doesn't pass this check, we have to replace it with a new harness and rerun the test. And so, that cost us a few days. Walker said teams also discovered some moisture in the bag used to pack the parachutes. That added a few days to the launch timeline to ship the next set off the line out to Florida to install instead. Looking ahead, SpaceX has been increasingly busy with its Dragon missions, both for crew and cargo flights. 2025 will be the third year in a row that they've launched six Dragon missions. While in previous years, those missions have been pretty evenly distributed throughout the calendar year. 2025 had a considerably ramped up cadence in the first half of the year. This year, the timing needs of our customers drove us to plan the exact same mission count, six missions, in less than half the time, just barely over five months, starting with the Crew-10 launch in March and concluding with a CRS-33 launch in August, Sarah Walker, director of Dragon Mission Management, said. The team hasn't missed a beat. She noted that the Crew Resupply 33 mission will include a more technically elaborate trunk for the Dragon spacecraft, since it will be used to boost the space station and prove out some capabilities that will be incorporated onto the ISS deorbit vehicle, commissioned by NASA to bring the space station out of orbit around the end of the decade. This is truly an unprecedented time in human spaceflight for my team and for the Dragon program at SpaceX, Walker said. I feel super grateful to have been a small part of it, and I think what I've witnessed this year is seeing the team do what they do best, which is being thorough and methodical as they prepare for each and every launch, and Axiom 4 is no different.